It's always been my goal. Just get rich as fuck and bless all my people. Saw a need for exotic cars, created a concierge company, VelcherCon. We found ourselves with a, a rare Porsche to sell. Made $20,000. Whoa, 20 grand in one sale for a 27 year old who just had a baby. That's when I realized I had something. We were selling one and two million dollar cars like every other week. We'd go into lavish car events, having Porsche take us places, staying at nice hotels. I would love where I was, but I would miss my family. And then when I was with my family, I would, I would miss my work. But at least I didn't have to worry about money. And that's all I cared about. So one day I, I wake up and I go into the bathroom and I look at my eye and my eye's like drooping, you know, it's like this. The eye doctor immediately knows like it's nothing with my eyes. And by the grace of God, he's like, I think you have myasthenia gravis. I thought I was gonna die, bro. I have this disease that nobody has. They don't know where it comes from. They don't know what causes it. They only know this. I have a very enlarged thymus gland that may or may not be cancer. They have to take it out immediately. We have to open your chest up. And my wife is fucking nine months pregnant. I was really afraid. I never told anybody that. My wife, my brother, and my mom. They probably think I was never afraid. I was scared of fucking death. I told them all, listen, I'm going into this like I do everything. I'm coming out strong as fuck. Just let me wake up. We'll deal with it then. And I woke up from the surgery. I couldn't breathe. 10% of a breath was all I could get. And everything after that was super painful. Physically, I was just dead. I could only get my arm to like right here and I had to like do it in some weird way and like I could stop here. And even if I wanted it here, it was like you could see me struggling. Three weeks after my surgery, my wife had my baby boy. I couldn't hold my baby boy. It was hard, like I forced myself to do it. Be crying in pain, holding my son. Trying to figure this out. Shoulders don't work, eyes don't work. Tired as fuck all day. The doctors wanted me married to medicine, man. The doctors wanted me to take it easy. The doctors didn't want me to live in a high stress environment. The doctors wanted me to be everything I'm not. I thought that the best approach was a natural one and that I should start in my mind. And I shouldn't lean on the easy way out because taking the easy way out never got me anything I needed. I didn't take their medicine. I went to the gym every single day and I overworked my body. <laughs> the symptoms are exaggerated by high heat and high cold. If you don't like heat, here's all the fucking heat you're gonna experience for the day. I would feel terrible, but on my drive home, after time and time again, I started to feel that energy that I lost. And as soon as I felt that energy I lost, I just kept going harder and harder. And eventually, not only am I lifting my arms above my head today, but I'm doing whatever I want physically. <laughs> Little did I know that was only half the battle I was about to face. Two and a half years after my recovery, I find out that my best friend a partner in the company had stole over a million dollars from me. So the whole time I was recovering, he was gambling away our earnings. So everything I built was gone. Two years after living in this la-la land, trying to figure it out, Hurricane Ian comes and demolishes the west coast of Florida, specifically Sanibel, that my parents have a house on. It's hell on earth as Hurricane Ian slams into Florida. 155 miles per hour winds, 18 foot waves. 
the fifth most powerful storm ever to hit the United States. I came over here to check on my parents' house and to observe the damage. So this right here is the water line from the hurricane. This is how much water set in the house. We clear coated it, so the debris from the hurricane is gonna live here forever. Right after I see the damage, I see all these people that need help, so I start running supplies. And then boom, God blesses me with an opportunity. And I call my brother up and I tell him there's a business here. And my brother says to me, I know. We created a construction company and we went back to the ground, volunteering our time and helping individuals on the island until the right people came along and hired us to bring their entire house back online. There's so much water in this house. When I first came in this house, it had picked up all the furniture. There was furniture everywhere. When we're done with this house, it will look like the finished product I'm about to take you to. Hurricane Ian, and this is devastation, so it's hard to say it in this way, but it provided my brother and I with the ability to really write a new path for our futures. What do I want people to get out of, of this? If your eyes are open, that's, that's the blessing. Just that grit and faith are the only things that you need to accomplish anything in this world. I can't reach out.